Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. 71 degrees here this morning. Got a nice little breeze coming from the south. Not quite low tide yet. The tide is still on its way out. Not as calm as it has been in the past couple days. Still relatively flat though out there in the Gulf. We'll see how things look once the sun pops up here over the trees. That water temperature is still 78. Park rangers making her morning rounds there, checking the beach, making sure everything is copacetic. Well, are we going to get a look at any dolphins this morning? Friday, we saw, got a good look at a dolphin. We followed a dolphin back and forth along the beach for 15 20 minutes on Friday. Yesterday we just got a glimpse of two dolphins early in our beach walk. Let's see what's in store for us today. Just gonna walk down to the south. Walking into the wind now. morning. Not seeing, not seeing a whole lot of shells on the beach here yet. Try to keep my eyes peeled out here. Yesterday morning, the two dolphins that we saw were coming up the beach, coming this direction, coming from the south. Usually, first thing in the morning, they're heading down, they're heading south, coming out of the north. So let's see. Hopefully, we'll get lucky and spot a dolphin or two this morning. Maybe find a couple nice shells. Just never know what's in store for us. Water is looking great again this morning. Not seeing or sensing any signs of red tide out here. We're supposed to have a front come through here today. Get some pretty heavy rain, probably just to the north of us. Thunder and lightning. The storms are just offshore of us now, they're out in the Gulf. Can't quite see them yet. Beautiful morning though. Beautiful morning here in paradise again. Hey, I wanna thank everybody for following me on Nonstop Naples Facebook page yesterday was great. We picked up some new followers there. I'm going to be doing that 
more often now. However, my beach walks will still be here on Southwest Florida television. So quiet out here this morning. Just tuning in. Again, I'm not seeing or sensing any signs of red tide out here this morning. Here comes one of our pelican friends. Flying into the wind. Just gotta dive into the water. Uh, nope. Thought maybe he was going to dive bomb a fish. <laughs> Not quite low tide yet. Another 20 minutes or so low tide. Gorgeous morning here. A few more clouds than were out here yesterday. Not quite as calm as it was yesterday in the Gulf. I'm sure the waves are gonna pick up as that storm approaches this afternoon. I'm not seeing anything out here on the sandbar this morning. Maybe we'd find a couple sand dollars or something out here. There's a sand dollar. There's a sand dollar down in the sand. Maybe a piece of a sand dollar, let's see. Nope, it's a whole little sand dollar down there. There's another one. Gotta be really careful picking these little ones up. They're so fragile. These little sand dollars are really, really fragile.
make great little souvenirs though, but if you're going to take them, if you're traveling, you've got to really wrap them up well. Put them in a little box or something, like a little jewelry box. If you look closely, you can find quite a few of these. Like you just saw, they're usually half buried in the sand. Sometimes they're completely buried in the sand. You just gotta look close. They're out here, the little sand dollars. These are dead. Unfortunately, that darn red tide killed off a lot of our marine life, including our sand dollars and sea stars. I haven't seen any sea stars lately in months and months and months. I haven't seen any live fighting conks out here. I'm gonna leave these up on the beach for somebody. Save them a trip out into the water. A lot of the shells out here, are, usually you'll find them half buried. See, here's a fighting conch. There's a fighting conch shell. Just the tip of that was sticking out in the, of the sand. Gosh, last year, I would walk out here in the water in these shallows here at low tide and find all kinds of neat things, neat shells with little critters inside of them. Either the animal itself or maybe a hermit crab, something else occupying the shells. Things have really changed here. I used to find live olive shells all over the place. The olive shells, nice olive shells, big ones that were alive, still had the animals inside, the snails. I haven't seen one of those in ages now. So much, so many things have changed here. But right now, this morning, again, no red tide. The water looks really nice. 78 degrees. The tide is still, still going out. It's not completely out yet. Kind of taking it slow here. Hoping for a dolphin to come by. Partly cloudy out here this morning. The sun's coming up right over there. You can see it coming up over the trees. Still a beautiful morning. Nice little breeze coming out of the south. There was a great dolphin sighting yesterday, right around noontime. Right around noontime. Right up in this area up here at the north end of Area 2. That seems like a popular spot for the dolphins to come in, especially during the high tide. 
Lots of fish up here. Low tide, the water's really shallow. Sometimes they'll come in though, even in the shallow water. You just never know where or when you're gonna see a dolphin. Looking down to the south there. Step out here under this sandbar. Sandbars just quiet aren't exposed yet, not quite exposed yet. Right here you can see there's just a couple inches of water going over the top of them here. There's a big group of pelicans there. See if we can spot them here. You can see them there, just above the water. Oh, here comes some more to my left here. You see them fly through the screen. Fly through there. There's our dolphin buddies. The rougher it is, the harder it gets to see the dolphins to spot them out here. Well, the other day was, a, would have been, it was an ideal day to see them. It was calm and nice and sunny. Yeah, if you come out here and spend a morning or an afternoon, you're going to see the dolphins. There's no doubt about that. They'll be by at some point. Don't know how many, don't know where they're going to come up close to the beach. You never know. Right where I'm at, just ahead of me, is a good spot, though. It's right at the... If you go, you see this boardwalk up here? That's the north end. The parking lot, too, right over here. That boardwalk there. And the tide is a little higher. This is usually a good spot. Right where you see that person walking out there is a pretty good spot for a dolphin encounter. But I can't predict the times for you. I wish I could. There's a little olive shell sitting on the beach. Little olive shell, got a little nick in it there. It's missing the tip. One of the little olives. Little snowy egret just flew by me. A little white bird you saw, it just landed up there. There's a little group of them, four of them up here.
another nice quiet morning here in Naples. There's three little snowy egrets here. One walking by me. Wondering why I'm out in space here, out in the water. <laughs> Get a good look at its little yellow feet there. mind to me. Just concentrating, looking for a fish to come by. Right about eight feet away from me. Where are you going? I'm going to go a little further down the beach. Beautiful birds, the little snowy egrets. Well, I was hoping to see some dolphins come by here. No luck yet. Just when you think you can predict when they're going to be by, they don't come by. <laughs> Right here in front of me is usually a good spot to see him. The water just gets a little deeper right out in here. The sandbars kind of taper off. You can see how there's no waves breaking right out in this area. That's because the water's deeper there. Can see if I pan over to the left, you can see the water breaking over there on the sandbar on the left. The waves breaking, and nothing here in this area, and then the waves start breaking up here. where you need to put a dolphin cam. Everybody should get together and we should raise some money and put a dolphin cam maybe on a big post over here somewhere watching this beach. There was talk about putting a live streaming camera here at Wiggins. I don't know whatever happened to that idea. It's still, it's still kind of dark out there in the water. Morning. Need some sunlight out here to brighten things up, make it easier to see out there in the Gulf. Those dolphins kind of blend in when it's dark like that. Oh, no ospreys here in the trees. I haven't heard any yet this morning. Always got to remember to look up when you're walking the beach here. 
never know what you might find. Not seeing a whole lot of seashells along the shoreline here. Maybe something caught up out here in the water. rocks out here. As soon as we get out into some nice sunlight, I'll give you a look at the water. Beach walk. The colors were great. Yeah, we kind of got some thin, just some overcast up here. We are expecting, they are predicting some heavy rains later this afternoon coming in off the Gulf. It looks like the heavy, heavy stuff is going to stay just to the north of us. We might just get the fringes of it here in North Naples. There's a little sun now. You can see the bottom here. Last week we were finding some really nice shells, lots of nice shells. Now the past few days, kind of striking out. Not finding much of anything, piece of an old tulip shell. You never know though, different areas of the beach. Uh, everything, the beach is so changing shape so drastically lately. The tides, they just interact with the shoreline so differently. And you just never know where there's going to be a big pocket of shells now. A lot of folks are snowbirds. They come down from up north and spend their days in the winter out here at the park are just amazed at how much the beach has changed. They don't actually, they don't even recognize it. It's so different from when they left six months ago. They just find it amazing. I just see it changing slowly every day, but I, I find it amazing myself. There's a little cockle shell. One of our little live cockles. You might be able to see it down inside the shell there if you look closely. Our little live cockles. 
they close up pretty quick when you pick them up. But, oh, hang on, some pelicans going by here. Three pelicans. Wow, they're only about eight feet up in the air. Oh, look at them all. More coming by. Neat. Love seeing the pelicans flying around. But I was just going to show you the little cockle. Most of you have seen the cockles. You've seen the cockle shells. Find a lot of these on the beach. Usually just half of one, just one half of the shell. But I always like showing you the little heart when you put it up on its end. A little cockle heart. Use your imagination there. It's pretty easy to see the heart. This is a live cockle that I just picked up. I'll put it back in the water here. Beautiful little shells. Over here is a, it's like an apple murex. What's left of an apple murex? It's got a big hole in the back. The apple murex shell. Got apple murexes, lace murexes. Every once in a while, you'll find a nice big one here. Apple Murex. Not much caught up in here. A lot of times, this, this little spot here between the beach and the sandbar, you find some really cool shells. But not this morning. Hmm. In a while. Anything out here on the sandbar? Oh, nice olive shell sitting up here. Nice little olive. Nice little olive shell. There's something cool, a little black scallop shell. Looks like a black one. Oh, it's a deep, deep, dark red and gray one. A little red in the middle and gray. You can find these in all colors. Some really bright orange ones, yellow, red, a little scallop. Just a little bit of color there in it. Another little cockle shell down here. Another little cockle. Just closing up on me. See if it opens up. Okay, hold it still. The bigger ones tend to be a little more active than the live ones when you pick them up. Yeah, this guy's not going to come out. He's going to stay in there. The water is looking good. Looking good. Not seeing or smelling any signs of red tide right now. Absolutely gorgeous. My early mornings out here, that's for sure. Yeah, 
as most of you know. <laughs> most of you that follow along. Thank you for watching, by the way. Thanks for tagging along. I'm glad that you're with me here, and I'm happy that I can get you out here like this, your virtual beach walks. I haven't seen a lot of pelicans going by. Here comes two more. Just above the water there. It's so neat. It's amazing how low they can get to the water without hitting it. I mean, sometimes they're just inches above the water. We're just about at low tide here. Just about. Good morning. All right, where's a shark's tooth? This just bums me out that I can never find a shark's tooth here. There's so many little black pieces of shells and rocks down here. Where's the shark's teeth? Why does everybody else find them and not me? You see the pelican? Oh, there he is. Just chasing some little fish around out here. <laughs> Just bobbing up and down on the waves. A lot of pelicans this morning. A lot of them flying by. An excellent sign. Or those pelicans, there's fish. People are slowly starting to show up out here. Sun's starting to hit the beach now.
because it's so overcast, the water is very dark today. It's not bright. It's not picking up those blues from the sky. It makes it a lot harder to see anything swimming out there, see a dolphin breaching the surface. It makes it really difficult. That wind is really kicking up. It's hitting me in the back right now. Coming up from the south. From the forecast that I was watching this morning, it looks like the wind is going to shift directions and start coming in off the Gulf late today. That's not good. That's where we don't want the water, com the wind coming from. This is the Gulf. We want the wind to keep blowing offshore that red tide at bay, blow it further and further away. Yeah, there's a pelican standing out on the sandbar. Usually you just see him sitting in the water. Ah, oh, darn it, just took off. They actually look kind of comical when they're walking on land. out from behind the clouds here this morning. You know what's amazing is last week there were just mountains, mountains of shells out here right in this area, all, all out here, mountains of them. Now they've all been slowly pulled back into the water. few remnants of them over here. This was a gigantic pile. Not much left of them now. People have gone through them. They've been driven over by the rangers, four wheelers. I mean, there's probably still some really nice shells buried down in here.
got to take the time to to dig down in there. But there were so many shells out here last week. It was amazing. The things we were finding. We were just finding moon shells galore last week. Moon shells like crazy. Lace murex shells. Well, our friend Bill, old shark tooth Bill, he found a bunch of sand dollars out here yesterday. Just out here in the water. Lots of them. Nice size ones, too. take anything this morning a little moon shell a little whelk shell it's not seen much of anything here where did all the shells go where did all the shells go up out of the south. You know, something else that the beach was just covered with last week, covered with, were these little worm, worm shells, the little worm tips. I mean, the beach was just with them. I'm hardly seeing any of them. These you usually find piles of between today and yesterday. We didn't find a lot of shells yesterday, but 
It was just such a beautiful morning, beautiful walk, beautiful colors. Today it's just kind of overcast and dreary. I'd much rather be bringing you some beautiful sunshine, some sunshine, clear blue skies. But no matter what, being out here still beats shoveling snow any day. <laughs> no matter what it's like out here, I'll take it. A few little worm shells down here. A couple little worm shells. There's a, actually kind of a nice one right there. It's a nice little worm shell. I like to stop when I come to these piles of little tiny shells like this I like to stop and focus on them and all of a sudden something will pop out will jump out at me It's not very big. There's another neat little worm shell. Hmm. A lot of times I'll find little baby shells, little worm shells, or whelks, lace murex shells. I'm not seeing anything now. A little baby turkey wing maybe down there. Yep, a little baby mossy arc. A little baby mossy arc shell. Let's see, I'll walk a little further up here, see if there's anything that somebody missed. A lot of the worm shells up here. That's cool. A lot of nice little worm shells. There's a little baby. A little baby cockle shell. Half of a cockle. Remember I said stop and look and you find some neat little things? Look at that. There's a little shark eye shell and a little cockle. That shark eye was upside down. Looks like a blue one too. Looks like maybe a Paul Newman. Paul Newman moon shell. Looks like it's got a little blue eye. This was kind of buried in the sand. Just a piece of it sticking out. Two little babies. little cockle and a little moon shell. People miss stuff like that all the time. I would have missed the moon shell if I didn't see the cockle shell. Yeah. Piece of the sand dollar. shells are thinning out. What few there were there, a little concentration of tiny shells. Take a look again out 
the water for our dolphin buddies. Not seeing any dolphins yet out there. Not saying they didn't come by and I missed them. It's very possible I missed them. You can get kind of camouflaged with these little waves out there. I think we're at low tide now. I think the tide has stopped going out. I can't swear to it. I've actually passed quite a few people out here shelling. Bunch of little worm shells down here piled up. Little pieces of worm shells. See them all down there? Coquina shells. These are all over the place, these little coquinas. There's an old lightning well, it's all faded out, lost all its color. another spot where just a week ago we found lots and lots of cool shells right up here at the north end of area four well we've just been seeing pelican after pelican i have been seeing pelican after pelican flying by here many people on board with us this morning. It's kind of discouraging. I do like coming out for my morning beach walks. But if we're not going to get a lot of viewers, I'd rather just walk along and do some nice shelling instead of carrying the camera along. little secret hunting grounds are turning up dry. It's a little, a little teeny tiny baby Florida fighting cock. That's a little one. Wow. There's a 
little fighting conch down here, a little bigger. Florida fighting conch. friends Tina some of you may have seen she lost her husband earlier this week well, later last week I want to keep our friend Tina in our thoughts and prayers it's so hard losing a loved one a lot of our friends the holidays are hard for a lot of people being able to spend them with the ones they've lost. How, what bad luck we're having finding shells this morning. <laughs> Nobody picked it up. Actually, it's not broken. It's got some little, something was eating away at the shell. And it's still a great little bunch. Not so little either. Something was eating away at it. Look at that. That's kind of neat. That's funny. I say I'm not finding any shells. And boom. This thing was just sitting on the beach like that, staring at me. They didn't want it because of those little grooves in it. I think that gives it character. I haven't seen any of our shark tooth hunting friends lately. Or today, this morning. I'd love to find a shark's tooth. I just can't seem to spot them. I don't know why. I can spot shells, all the different and little shells, but the darn shark's teeth, for some reason, they just elude me. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. I don't know why. I've actually stood on top of them talking. Not even known it. Kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, there's always a possibility somebody beat me out, beat me to them all out here. There's a 
another little scallop down here. All different colors of these little scallop shells, sizes and colors. We're up in area five right now, at the north end of the park. Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples. Just slowly walking up the beach, seeing if any dolphins will swim by us or kind of interesting things might have washed up on the beach overnight. Every morning, every single morning is different. Some mornings are just much more exciting than others. This morning is kind of quiet. Kind of quiet. I still love coming out here no matter what. No matter what we see or find. Feels like it's coming a little more out of the southwest than the south. Well, it's blowing hard. We're supposed to get some really heavy rains later today. We're going to be right on the edge of the outside edge of the storm. We're probably not going to get as much rain as there are just to the north of us, a few miles to the north. We're supposed to get some thunder and lightning. Then, apparently, the wind's going to shift directions and start coming in out of the Gulf, which is what we don't want, because that's where that red tide sits, out there in the Gulf of Mexico. And those onshore winds, there's a good chance it might blow that red tide right back in on top of us. We do not want that. Right now, we're looking good. There's an olive shell. Pretty nice size little olive shell just the tip there. Lots of rocks on the beach here, lots. Lots of little rocks and stones. People find some really cool fossils here too at the beach. Arrowheads, people have found arrowheads out here. Friends found an arrowhead not too long ago here, maybe two, three weeks ago. I think I'm going to turn around and walk back down the beach. Maybe we'll get lucky, find something I missed. Maybe the waves might have brought something different up onto the beach. It's going to be windy. I'm going to be walking right into the wind here on the way back. You see how the water's changed colors since we've been out walking. It was very dark, almost black. Now that sun's coming up. 
you're starting to see the natural colors, that emerald green out there. Storms are definitely, the storm is definitely offshore. Definitely out there. Inching its way closer to us. A lot of people see that green color in the water and they think it's some kind of deadly algae, but that's the natural color of the Gulf of Mexico, that green. It's a little churned up right now because of the wind. It's when it starts turning brown, you got to worry about it. And it all depends on what's in the sky. The water picks up the colors of the sky as well. There's been days where this green water looks looks blue just because of the beautiful blue sky. But this green you're seeing is more the natural color. Kitten's paw shell, little kitten paw. It's a nice kitten paw there. Nice, nice size. Kitten paw shell. Yesterday it was really calm, very, very easy to see out here in the shallow water to see the bottom. It was a great morning for shelling. As far as conditions go, didn't find a lot of shells. There's a neat little clam shell. All kinds of different clam shells on the beach. Clam shells, oyster shells. It's a nice looking shell right there. I don't know what kind of clam shell that is. I'm sure somebody watching knows what type of clam that is. Gallop over here. Yep, you see different colors, different sizes, the scallop shells.
Boy, that wind is definitely picking up. Definitely picking up there. Oh, here's a little cockle. There's a little cockle opened up. No sun here. We can't see inside, darn it. Can you see the little cockle in there? Right on the edge, that dark, that dark reddish brown. That's the cockle in there. A the little cockle shell. Put him back by the water's edge. People eat those cockles. I think they eat cockles. They make a soup or stew or something out of them. Or is, or is that just a joke? Or is that, you know, I know it's part of a nursery rhyme. The cockle shells. that wind man really picking up coming right straight into my face from the south see how when the sun dips behind the clouds the water just yeah, it almost goes black Remember we were just looking at those beautiful emerald greens earlier when the sun went out now the water has lost its color dolphins under these conditions there. They just blend right in with the water out there. Still hoping though, we're going to be optimistic that we might see one on the way back here. Still hoping to find a neat shell or two. I've got a couple shells in my pocket. That's about it this morning. A couple moon shells, and a couple worm shells. And a 
nice little olive shell. Well, that was about it this morning. I mean, when I say that, don't get me wrong. There's other shells out here, but those are just the ones that I saved. There's always something to get you started with a nice, nice shell collection out there. You can always come out here and get all the basics to get a collection started. Fighting conks, you can usually find fighting conks out here. Here's a little one. There's a little baby fighting conk. That's a nice little one. The slipper shells, you can usually find slipper shells out here. Slipper shell, flip it over, and it looks like a little slipper. Got that little chamber there, a little slipper shell. They're pretty abundant here. Also, worm rock. Find all different sizes. This worm rock is a little piece here. Just a little piece of worm rock. We're low tide now. That's usually the best time for, to do your shelling. Lots of little pieces of worm rock right down here. A couple neat little pieces of worm rock. Also, there's a little, really old cone shell. A little cone shell here. Look at that. That's pretty much that's pretty worn there. A little alphabet cone. That's an old alphabet cone there. That's a little worm shells down there. Pieces of worm shells, the worm tips. This one's kind of a little bit worn, the turkey wing. You can get a good look at a turkey wing shell there. Did I just see? I saw something tiny. Oh, a little nutmeg shell. I believe that's a nutmeg. I believe that's a little nutmeg. Something else down here I wanted to show you. Ah, with each wave changes here. It's a little scallop. So it's really fading out, losing its color. A scallop shell. Listen to that wind. Please don't be blowing that red tide back up on our beach. There's another little spot up here where we might find a couple smaller shells.
check out in the water. A lot of times we'll find something right along the edge here. You kind of see that little ridge down there. It's pretty dark. The sun is behind the clouds. Much easier to find the shells when the sun's out, shining bright. of an old murex. I haven't found any murex shells this morning. Just some old broken ones. There's not much there. Barely. Still barely a murex shell. <laughs> not much left of that one. Ooh. Wow. What are the odds of catching that? I just saw that wash up in a wave. A little baby moon shell. Ah, nice little find, a little baby shark eye, moon shell. Some people call them cat's eyes. That's pretty cool. That was a nice little find, a little baby like that. Very easy to bypass that. I got two of those this morning. It's an old, it's like an old pear whelk down here. It's what's left of a pear whelk. Not much left of that either. Pear whelks have their openings on the opposite side of a lightning whelk. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. Another little baby moon shell. Wow, three little babies this morning. I mean, these are tiny. I am shocked that my old blind eyes are seeing these. Very cool. I gotta find a special place to put those. They get lost in the piles at home. You can see how everything moves around with every little wave. See that down there? That's a piece of wood. An old crown conch. Beautiful shells, the crown conchs. This is actually kind of nice right here. These little waves coming in and they just kind of sift the little shells for you. You just gotta keep your eyes open. Let the waves, let the waves do the sifting. So I like the old yellow pages, let your fingers do the walking. Whew, listen to that wind. Coming straight out of the south right now. Man. Nice little olive. I like to collect them when they have the point on them. A lot of times you'll find them with the tips broke off. It's actually, when you find the, the tip missing, it's just got a hole on the top. There's actually another another snail is actually eaten through and gone in and eaten the snail inside of this. That's a nice little olive. I had a couple of those this morning. It's 
like piece of a pear whelk. Hard to tell what that was. Is that a, ah, that might have been, that's a piece of a moon shell. It's a piece of an old moon shell. That's the eye where the dark eye would have been. with all the little baby moon shells this morning, huh? We've been finding several of those now. How cool is that? A little shark eye. It's walking really slow here. Really slow in hopes of finding some nice little small shells. Not finding much in the way of big shells. Still some nice little ones though. many slippers are there here? Well, when I say lots, there, just that one little spot. They're all around me, all these little slipper shells. See how they look like little slippers when you flip them over? Piles of them here, piles. Got a little sun hitting the beach now. The sun make, is making a brief appearance here. nasty later today. a lot of pelicans. We did see a lot of pelicans earlier. There's one royal turn right there. One lonely turn. Beautiful birds, those turns. Well, that wind is blowing the camera around like crazy. Really blowing strong. Yeah, well, I'm happy. I've, I got about probably 10 shells in my pocket, 10 nice little shells this morning. That's better than going home with nothing. Did not see any dolphins, but I I can't swear that they didn't come by.
So there, now we're getting a little color in the water. Starting to see those greens. Water does not look bad. They catch you by surprise. Absolutely. <laughs> they can find some nice sand dollars out here if you if you're patient. Take your time. They're usually kind of half buried in the sand. The calmer it is, the easier it is to find them. Here's a fighting conch buried in the sand down here. Nice fighting conch shell. That's a nice one there. Yeah, I got it. It's got a chip in it. Scallop shell. But out on the edges of these sand bars is where you're most likely going to find some nice little sand dollars. I'll turn around here and you'll see I'm just offshore. Just out in the shallow water here. It's hard to see with these little waves. I wish it was calmer. Nice size ones. They're definitely out here waiting to be found. And that wind is strong. darker up to the north. 
hard to hold the camera here. That wind is blowing so hard. It wants to blow out of my hands. I'm surprised the gimbal is holding it. Look what's down here in the water. Look what's down there. A piece of a big sand dollar. It's got a chip out of the bottom of it. It's amazing how they just wash up on the beach. Not used, it's not like what you're used to seeing in the stores. They turn white after you take them out of the water, let them sit out in the sun. They'll bleach themselves out. Slowly turn white. Most of you know, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. I love coming out here. I love the aspect of people getting together on social media and having little conversations. But today it doesn't look like that happens. Looks like the viewership was really low today. Kind of disappointing, actually. a little donation that always helps out it's not the reason I do this but every little bit of money helps definitely helps pay the phone bill that's for sure people 
lot of people think I get make tons of money out here doing this. That's not the case. Far from the case. I'm lucky if I get enough money to cover the phone bill. something thank you so much and I know everybody's in the same boat a lot of people times are tough for a lot of us I'm actually walking backwards here it's so darn windy Seems like it's gotten a little rougher out here too since when we first started this morning. Oh, does he? Ah, well. Like, Where are you? Right here. Oh. He's looking for sharks. Oh, well, I hope he finds some. I hope I so he has like better luck than me. I know. It's like, I'm the only day. person that doesn't find them. It's like, oh, well, somebody had something for you yesterday. A sand dollar they said they were going to give to you. Oh, oh they, I just found a big one back okay. there. Uh, I said, Where is he? I like, watch this again every day. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you're here. You. You know, you have to go out in the water a little bit to That's find the I sand was. dollars. I was kind of over here and in it. Oh, yeah. Last time I was here, they had those weird sand. Oh, yeah. And I found 20 of them. I felt guilty. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes they're all <laughs> over the beach. Which is nice. But... Uh, he's in the beach. I'll be out here again. Hopefully one of these days things yeah. Oh, just my usual stuff, usual little moon shells and I always wind up with something. There was a little, a little moon shell. I found something like that the other day and it had a hole in it too. But yeah. It oh yeah, they're okay if they have a hole. Oh yeah, well, nice talking to you. I'll be out here again. How long are you down for? Till Tuesday? Yeah, so you come around this time every day? I, I usually start around 7.45, 7.30, No, I start, it depends. I usually start down in two and walk up and come back. All right, see you later. Good luck. One of our followers from Rhode Island. That is so cool. That is what makes really lifts my spirits when I'm out here on the beach and somebody comes out here and says hey we're down from Rhode Island and we've been following you forever I'm like oh wow I mean that's the real reason that I do these beach walks is to inform people let them know about our beach here in North Naples keep them updated on what's going on sometimes it's tough not always pretty. I've been out here filming some pretty hard things, pretty sad things. Dead sea turtles. Just recently a dead dolphin on the beach. It's not always pleasant. But I feel I'm kind of providing a service by doing that. 
I'm also trying to make people aware of what's going on with our environment. Granted, it's just our little piece of the environment down here in Southwest Florida, but we are really messing up our water down here. A lot of people want to point fingers at the government. And big sugar. But when it comes right down to it, all these problems are created by us. Each and every single one of us contributes to polluting this planet. No matter how hard, how hard we try, no matter what we do at home, there's always something that slips by. You don't realize what you're doing. We just got to become better stewards of this planet we live on or pretty soon we're not going to have a planet to live on. If we don't take care of our water, it doesn't matter what happens to the rest of the planet. No water, no man. No life. The water is definitely getting rougher. The waves are kicking up out here. The wind is picking up, the waves are picking up. Found a couple nice little shells this morning. A few nice little baby moon shells, little shark eye shells. A couple nice little worm shells. Happy hunting. <laughs> She's trying to find some shark's teeth. The elusive shark's teeth. Oh. It is getting very dark up to the north. Very, very dark. Good job of holding the camera. Amazing. There's a little snowy egret down there. Staring me down. His feathers rustling in the wind here. Look at a little snowy egret though.
Beautiful little birds. His feet are buried in the sand, but they got cute little yellow feet. You can match the yellow around their eyes there. Blowing hard. going to be right on the edge of that big storm that's coming through southwest Florida today. Oh wow. There's a kite surfer getting ready to go out here to the north of me. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. I don't know if you can see the red kite in the air down there. down the beach today. Wow. There'll probably be a lot of them out here later today. It's pretty hard to see with that gray sky back there. I come sailing by me here. You can really see the green color of the water now, that emerald green. I hear an osprey somewhere. I hear an osprey chirping. Can't seem to see it. There's a dolphin, two dolphins coming by very slow. Can barely see them. Just offshore here. Two dolphins right out in the waves. Two or three. Oh, there's a little pod of them out here. You just see their fins coming up out of the water. I don't know if you're going to be able to spot them. You see the fins sticking up? Really hard to see them with the waves. They're just on top of them, just below the surface. Two or three of them went by. Just offshore here. I don't know if they're going to come in. jumped out of the water. One just jumped out of the water. Where'd he go? Where did he go? He's out just off. I don't know if you can see him out there. Blowing the camera around like crazy. There's at least two of them out there. Very, 
very, very hard to see what the way is. They are out there, that's for sure. Well, tail end of our beach walk. I got to see them. I don't know if you can see them. I'm sorry about the wind here. There's a kite surfer down there. I don't know if you can see them. I think those dolphins might come in closer to shore up ahead of us. Might, might, might come in a little closer. I don't even see them now. Oh well. They're there. I saw them. I think you might have got a glimpse of them. That was cool. I saw him out here. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. And don't forget about Nonstop Naples. You're going to want to like that Facebook, Facebook page too, Nonstop Naples. Remember, I don't get paid to come out here and do these beach walks. If anybody wants to make a contribution, it's always appreciated. Help to pay the phone bill. You can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. You can find the link to my PayPal. Every little bit helps. Be sure to take the time to check out my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the like and share button. Be sure to like that and follow Southwest Florida Television. Well, have a wonderful day. Wherever you might be watching from. Stay warm if you're up north in the cold. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.